What's up YouTube? This is JB Panther back with a video and today's video is actually another Marvel slash Star Wars news update kind of video and again this is all rumors and speculation but this comes from wegotthiscover.com as well so again <clears throat> I will link the article in the description box down below so you guys can check it out so I'm going to read this article I'm not going to read the whole entire thing because it's kind of long but I'm just going to give you the most basic of the article. It says, Kevin Feige reportedly considering leaving Marvel Studios to head up Star Wars. We kind of talk about this, but I guess it's now more sources and more information about it. According to the sources to WGTC, the same ones that told Marvel is eyeing Daniel Cray. Oh, the Harry Potter dude from Moon Knight and a National Treasure 3 is in development. Five years considering a move to Lucasfilm to Star Wars full time and once his contract with Marvel has run its course. And while nothing has been decided just yet, this would make sense as the popular no the producers admit on many occasions that he's more a fan of the galaxy far, far away than he is the likes of Iron Man and Spider-Man. I can see that because there's a lot more lore and uh, mystique when it comes to Star Wars. The move would have a logic to Star Wars like Marvel is Disney's own, thus the company would be keeping Feige under their wings should he choose to take on a creative, different creative challenge in the near future. Given the unpredicted feat of the franchise, building his overseas for them, I doubt he'll be bent to let them drift away. Plus, we said above, he's a huge Star Wars fan. Then again, who isn't, given this in uh, Contel? And it's worth stressing again that this is only something that he said to be considering. He's still under contract at Marvel Studios. After all, while Capri County is still under contract in the Lucasfilm world, it still remains to be seen what the future of any of these players is beyond what we know, but with whispers of Kathleen Kennedy possibly moving out and following the disappointment of Rise of Skywalker and the uh, Feige being more capable of taking the franchise steering it back on track, this might end up happening. And again, <clears throat> again, this is this can't even this is not really like rumor rumor because this has been like they they've there's been reports and stuff like that that and I'm not sure this is probably kind of true or maybe he's had the thought of it probably with him and Bob Iger they probably talked about it smoking cigars or whatever it is but I do think Kevin Feige um not to say he reached his peak because there's so many other storylines he can do with Marvel I do think eventually like as much as uh great he's done with Marvel because like, it's kind of like at this point he took it from scratch and made it into this crazy powerful franchise I do feel like after maybe the maybe the end of phase six um, he might want to just uh, move on to something. Because I, I, what I've read is that he is going to produce one of the Star Wars movies. We just don't know which one. But I do think eventually he's going to want to do something different to uh, to challenge himself. And I guess he will eventually pick his new successor to run the Marvel Studios and the Marvel franchise going forward. But I do think he wants to eventually do Star Wars because what I've seen in like interviews and stuff like that, he's really a hardcore Star Wars guy. The thing is that... Um, I mean, I think he could do a really good job with Star Wars. Again, we don't know. We don't know what can happen. But I do think that um, he has the possibility to do it because um, Star Wars is not in the... Even though it made a billion dollars, it still was a financial disappointment because this movie should be $2.8 billion, not just a billion, not just a break even. You want it to make a lot more money. And I do think Feige wants to do something different where it will challenge him. And I do think that... Um, in my personal opinion, he can't use the same with Taika Waititi and stuff like that. He can't use the Marvel formula with Star Wars. Like he can't just do okay, we're gonna do a MCU, uh, Star Wars cinematic universe. Have them all come together, use the Marvel formula into this big, big, crazy cinematic event. Like you have to make it where it's not, where it doesn't have the family friendly humor. You have to make it where it's dark, serious, realistic, and really um, dive into dive into the Sith and the Jedi uh, political views and world view, world views and their uh, backgrounds and stuff like that and really make it dark and serious and also make it fun and entertaining as well. So I'm not sure. Maybe he can do it. I don't know. But he is a hardcore Star Wars fan. He does have knowledge of Star Wars. But the problem is the Star Wars fan base is different than the Marvel fan base. The Marvel fan base is more liberal and lenient. The Star Wars fans are a lot more conservative and they always have these racial issues. There's always something racial, sexist issues, whatever. There's always some issues with Star Wars. You know what I mean? It's been around for 42 years. Marvel's been around longer, but I'm talking about MCU-wise. It's been around for like a, like 12 years now. 
12 years is different than 42 years. And uh, I'm just not sure he'll be able to do the same thing he does with Marvel to Star Wars. Because it's two different franchises, two different fan bases, and two different types of lore. So, again, if he leaves, it's fine. You know what I mean? I just say for him just to wrap. If he was going to do it, just do this new arc, wrap it up, and then move on to Star Wars or whatever it is. Or if you want to produce and stuff like that. But overall... Um, my personal opinion, you should stick where you are comfortable at, you're at the top right now, rather than just go work for another franchise, even though it's owned by the same company. So, um, you, you, you know, I mean, that's just my personal opinion. You want to stay where you're comfortable at, where you have more power and control. If he goes to Star Wars, he might, he might not have the same creative freedom and power like he does with Marvel with Star Wars, if he does it. That's really it, guys. Tell me what you guys think about this. Do you think he will go to Marvel? Do you think, um, uh, not that my Marvel. Do you think he'll go to Star Wars? Do you think he'll stay with Marvel? Do you think Marvel is already kind of in a different type of position because the way their Phase Four lineup is like super woke and I guess SJW and a lot more diverse and inclusive? Do you think? <clears throat> He wants to just do it, get, move on, and then do Star Wars? Or do you think he will be like, I'll produce a Star Wars movie, but still work for Marvel? Tell me what you guys think. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, make sure you rate and comment on the video. And make sure you rate and like the video and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Peace and have a great day and take care.